Sem marca. Okay. Hey guys, it is Rachie, and welcome back to my channel. We're finally doing a review of Legend Me You It. I try to watch this drama, I believe, in 2018. So that was like two years ago, two or three, whatever time I started. I finally get to watch it. It came out in 2015, but I didn't find about it, out about it until way later on when I started searching for it more Chinese drama to watch because drama fear at the time when it was running didn't have too many. So it is starring uh Sun Lee and who else? Oh my goodness, I gotta go look. Sun Lee uh Lu Liu Tao um Alex Fong Chong Sun. Oh my god, that's a long name. Um uh, Huang Huang Xuan and Gao Yuan Xing Xiang Oh my god and Ma Su. Um also if you didn't know one of the um Hua Hua Gui Fei and Empress in the Palace is in this drama, but she's good, but she's only at the beginning, so you get to see her be nice for a little bit. And yes, it is about the story of Mi Yue, the first stateswoman in the history of China. Mi Yue is a young um, princess who lived in a king of Machu during the Warring States period. She was sent to Qin as a concubine, concubine as part of her sister Mi Shu's uh, dowry, um, separating from her love Huang Xie, uh, King Yi Si, King who when of Qin passes away, Yang Dan, King Wu of Qin, becomes his successor, which is what you call it. What you call it? What? No. Yes. And then Mi Yue is sent as an ambassador banishment <laughs> to Yin with her son Ying Ji, King Zhao Shang Qing, who is later. Yeah. And then, however, Yang Dang suddenly dies. He died in a weird way, um, leaving Qin in a state of chaos where King Yingzi's sons are battling for the throne. Mi Yue enlists in the helps of barbarians, Yi Chu army, and successfully returning to Qin, suppressing the political revolts and instates her son, uh, Ying Ji. Ying Ji on the throne, and Mi Yue goes to become the first Empress Dowager, Tai Ho, um, in China's history. Because I think it was Hui Ho that her sister, Mi Shu, Mi yes, um, <laughs> Mi Shu, her, yeah. Oh, I gotta sneeze. Um, who is his mother? King, whatever. They don't even have a link. Um, Queen Hui Wen. That was Mi Yue's sister that she became dowry to. I don't remember the whole drama because I didn't. Just eighty episodes, guys. Um, let's go here. I'll show you the channel. I could put a link to the. What you call it? Yeah, I got bored and rewatched, not fully rewatched. What you call it? Empress in the Palace. I haven't fully rewatched. I still haven't finished me. Here we go. This is the playlist that you want that looks like this because there's another one that I was watching before that's not fully translated. But this one's fully translated and everything. And it has, oh my God, 81 episodes. So, I think one is off by a number for some reason. I don't know where it's off. So, you might have to go look for the other chant. I mean, the other playlist to watch it. Because it is weird. Because 10, 10, 11, 11. Oh, my God. What the? 
Oh, they don't have 13. So you need to go find episode 13 because 13 on this list is 14. So you have to go watch episode 13 on the other playlist and go find that because they don't have it. And I should have rewatched, but I don't remember the full length. But the only thing right now I can think about that I do not like is when um, I don't understand really why she fell in love with the king of Chu. Um, Miyue, I don't understand where that came from. And I know she thought that her love, whatever his name was, what is her love? Oh, uh, Lord uh, Chunshin, whatever. Well, that's what his name on here is listed. I don't remember what she called him. The guy she, that she loved back from Chu, her first love and everything. And later she still loved him because there was a person that moved on him, even though it's America, um, that looked like him later on that she wanted her to read to her. Um, I know she thought that he was dead at the time, so she was, like, mourning the loss of him, and then I guess she fell in love with him. I mean, the emperor, not the emperor, the king, because they were only in, like, kingdoms then. Um, what you call it? Her sister was stupid. Like, I know you guys have different mothers and the same father, and she came as dowry for the king and everything. But, and she was supposed to leave, but you shouldn't, she was supposed to leave when her love came back to life and everything. But I just don't really understand why she hated her so much. Like, it just, like, became random, like, her hatred. Like, I know, like, the people around her, like, her mother influenced her. And then her mother's servant that was there told her to be wary of Amiyue. And then, like, the emperor favoring her, I believe. I think he did. Yeah. That bothered her. I don't understand why she hated her fully. She was just jealous. Really. And she was like, at the end, she was like, you're just a concubine's daughter, and I am da And everything. They did, I did like their little last little time with each other because they redid their little first moments of meeting and the little, little, Fart noise. I thought it was cute. Really like that. I don't know why they made up uh, the queen uh, Mishu. Uh, I don't know why they had her son be so annoying. I guess so you could hate him. He was just really annoying. I didn't like him. Like they could have. I don't know. I don't know. So those two. Miyue and Mishu's sons are cousin brothers. <laughs> Wait, so what you call it? They have the same father but different mothers. They and then Mishu and Miyue both have the same father and different mothers too. That's just a weird lineage. A weird tree, like I have to draw this out in my head, like somewhere. So yes, there's a little picture. Can I get a? That's my new like once a Does my drama review? Yes, my drama list does. They only gave it a uh, what you call it, eight point two star. Wow, I'm surprised. Well, here's all the actresses and everything. Here's the director, Sunley, their Betty Sun, her English name, Miyue. Um, Tam, Tam, Tamia Lee, I like her because she was in another drama that I watch. I'm trying to think of, like, stupid plot points. I guess Miyue was too forgiving to her sister. Yeah, she was way too forgiving. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was way too forgiving because when, um, she tried to kill Miyue's son by having him get stung by bees. She just let her keep the clothes. If my sister tried to kill my child, I would fought her right then and there. Like, that's your child. That's the kid that you carried for nine months. Like, I think she did have a 
tough pregnancy too and birth and everything but you just let it pass out just because your sister relationship she didn't care about you that much like she came at her son and she just let her go like she was too forgiving for that I hated her for that at that moment like that was the stupidest moment like you really just let her almost kill your son luckily he didn't die I think it was someone else that died that wasn't him I don't remember but yeah these are the, all the people that played in the thing I don't remember everyone and then one of the princesses I think she is no I don't remember I don't remember but stop um when the I don't remember when what you call it me that went to yan 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 okay whenever she went there I don't remember her, that sister that didn't like her. I don't remember her. And she's like, that's her sister. I'm like, what? That's her sister? I didn't know. And they have guest rooms. Yes. I don't remember all these people at all. I really don't. I can see him walking in the street. I was. <laughs> hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know a thing. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I can't remember everything. Um, let's go to people's review of it. That's it. These are all the, what you call it? Up to 50-ish are still okay. After when the director's wife took over the script and went down the drain. What? This director's wife took over? Um, ridiculous to the highest order from onward. How can a director allow his wife to continue writing a rubbish script and a lack of professionalism in the director's part? Oh, I never knew that. Um, someone's like, I'm really disappointed with this series. It was so long. It was really long. I don't really understand why me UFO for that barbarian guy from the king of Ichu. Just because he saved her life. Like, you can have affection for someone and like them. I don't know where she fell in love with him. And she was kind of forcing her son to accept him. I'm like, I'll never force my son to accept someone I'm in love with. I just have to do it over time. She, like, said, oh, you're his dad and everything. I'm like, no, he's not his father just because you got married. And then, plus, she didn't even tell her son that she married him at that time. She waited to after when the... uh the Ichi or E whatever when he got mad at um Mia's son he told him that they were married like that's when the son found out that they got married and everything like why wouldn't you do that yourself you don't have that much respect and everything and then also she didn't respect like I understand like back then one woman didn't have like the choice and everything but her son's reign was like new and like they want respect and everything she got knocked up she didn't care about her son and everything like she could have like hid out left the palace like oh i found a child every like once like why you got some random kid that he was found on the street he's my son now like you could have lied and said that and got away with it like they could have won like that but whatever um <sighs> yeah mm -mm. What you call it? Child by child. I got to episode 41 on the hope of the story might draw me in. But no, after 41 episodes, I gave up. Um, Watch only nine. Um, only if you were wanting a history lesson on warring states, hair and politics, or women's rights in China. Not even the fashion of that period was fantastic compared to uh, other dramas. It was kind of like downhill. It wasn't that good. But I did really like And I did have to say some of it. Very disappointing series. Yeah, it was really long for no reason. Um, what you call it was just stupid towards the ending. Um, whoa, in real life. 
who the lady me me who suddenly was portraying she did actually have an affair with the little barbarian king whatever his name is and i think she i'm not sure she did have kids with him but she did have like an affair and everything and then she took his land well i mean like you gotta do what you do in that time um wow no i'm not dang they wrote a lot Mm -mm. um someone says oh they give it a 10 um legend of miwe was well crafted building um where the personal development of the protagonist collates um with the emergence of the nation each of the three men in her life represents various stages of selfhood oh wow wow mm. and maturity necessary in the realizations of a dream the dream of a glorious and a unified nation yeah Miyue grows why my eyes do that out of the innocence and carelessness and idealized childhood is enlightened by the visions of greater goal of the common good and finally faces a harsh reality that dreams de- demand bloodshed and sacrifice yep the struggle between personal and universal well-being and happiness is heart-wrenching given the gender um of the protagonist and the historical contents the layering of the na- narrative provides greater complexity than more Chinese dramas. Wow, I didn't ever thought about that. And the exciting casting was definitely commendable. Yes. Was this review? Helpful? Whatever. I can't even like it. It was helpful. I did really, yeah. They said it really profoundly, eloquently. I don't know. Words, yeah. Oh, goodness. 81 up. Oh. Who's, did people say they stopped at 41? No. They said 81 out of 81 episode scene. Even though someone said they stopped at 41. But whatever. Uh, I did like her. I seen her in other dramas. Her right here. I don't remember what drama I seen her in. And I did like her acting as her mother. I don't really remember it. But I think I liked it. And then here's Hwakae. Oh, she, I loved her in a softer, instead of like a mean role, I did like her character because she took over after the mother died and she helped, I think she lowered herself for something, like she took off her wear, her clothing, her rank wear, whatever time. What she called looked funny, she looked like a little boy, I know she was supposed to be an unfavored princess, but... It could have gave her at least decent clothes amount to some amount. I know I was supposed to like portray what was going on, like how she would wasn't cared for because her mother died, and the empress, I mean the queen, that was really over them didn't care about them, and stuff. And yeah, yeah, it was good. I don't think I'll watch it again just because how long it took me to watch it. Like, if I just have a random moment, no, I probably won't. I probably won't. Just watch it. If you haven't watched that, I'm not going to watch it again just because how long it took me to watch it. Two years? Because it's not even, like, the drama's fault. It's not really anyone's fault. It's just, like, subbing takes so long to do. And I believe only one person on the other playlist was doing it at the time. So it took forever. So finally, and this one took a while too because I was watching the other one. I was trying to, uh, I had the translated Chinese with my barely amount of Chinese that I know trying to listen and understand what was going on. I barely did. I did get a context, but I didn't fully understand and grasp what, like each part. But yeah, just watch it, give it a chance. Don't watch it a second time. 81 episodes. I have even watched, um, what do you call it? The Empress of China again. That, I don't even know where that's at. That's like 80 something episodes. I haven't watched that again. That's 80. But I watched Empress in the Palace. How many episodes are in the Palace? I mean, not the OTS. How many? What are you doing? How many? There's 74. 
and I keep coming back because I'm obsessed with this drama. This drama is like mm, one of my favorite ones. Like probably is my favorite one, but I can't really think of my favorite one. Watch Empress in the Palace because you really see suddenly act. Like whoever said she wasn't good at acting, go to Empress in the Palace and watch that. And you know why I love her. And uh, what you call it? it was something. Um, something about didn't last forever. That wherever she starred in. Um, Let's look her up. What? Where is it? Nothing go kiss stay. Watch this one too because the, oh, the, the what you call it, not photography, whatever the word, the correct word. It is so good. Like, even though it's sad when her husband died, just like them panning from the spots, it was just beautiful. Like, I really loved it. They didn't have her get remarried. She had her love interest and everything. But, oh, it was good. And... Yes, watch that and that to watch suddenly. Just because of suddenly, that is it. I don't really care to watch Legend of Me if for suddenly watch the other ones. Those are better. It's a okay drama. I want to say good. Okay, it's decent. Yeah. It just has a bad note because I didn't want to watch how long of it. But okay. We'll see if I review what you call it tonight. Probably not because I'm tired. But okay, I'll talk to you. I mean, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. One, two, three.